This is Witchbase News for Friday the 17th of May 2024. I'm Commander Burr. In Elite Dangerous News this week, tickets for this years Elite Community Meet go on sale. Patch 1805 brings an important fix to the game and there's a new raft of essential guides and tools to ease your engineering and material gathering journey. You know how this bit goes please like, subscribe and ding that little bell so that YouTube shows you all our content and if you'd like to directly help our work here at the Burr Pit you can also support us through Patreon. Links to that and everything else are in the description below. Tickets for this years Elite Community Meet on the 10th of August in the UK went on sale this week and once again ECM is being hosted at the Hilton St Anne's Manor Hotel in Wokingham. If you've never been by their own admission ECM isn't a traditional convention in the sense of being program driven with formal panels and talks etc from a stage but more of a gathering of like minded commanders and an opportunity to meet, play board or card games as well as retro games whilst enjoying some good food all in aid of the charity special effect. Ticket prices range between £10 and £55 and can be obtained via the ECM website that you'll find linked below this video. And whilst we're talking dates for your diary just a really quick heads up that the assault on the next Thargoid Titan Hadad is expected to begin after the next Thargs Day tick. That's the 23rd of May as I speak these words. That's assuming there's no unexpected shenanigans between now and then but we'll confirm for definite on next Fridays show. In case you missed it patch 18.05 dropped into the game on Thursday this week bringing with it just 3 but no less important fixes listed in its patch notes. Perhaps most notable amongst those fixes the issue preventing stored modules being installed onto pre-built ships has been resolved so if that's been troubling you for the last week or so then you should be good to slap some already existing engineered core modules into your brand new shiny Python Mark II. A quick recap if you'll indulge me one moment. The Python Mark II, the first new ship to the game in over 5 years arrived via ARC's powered early access into Elite Dangerous last week. Regular credits powered access to the ship is happening on the 7th of August. There are at least 3 other new ships arriving in the game this year, the next of which will be the Type 8. A new flavour of frameshift drive that infuses newly back engineered Thargoid technology has not only become available in the last month but the new Supercruise Overcharge frameshift drives can now also be engineered in the same manner as regular vanilla FSDs. On top of all this FDev have reaffirmed that they have plans to revisit the engineering system in game in the coming months and included in but not limited to the things they are looking at are reducing the number of materials needed for engineering, increasing the payout of engineering mats from missions and in the case of on foot engineering increasing backpack capacity. Taking all this into account it's small wonder then that many of commanders thoughts are turning toward the engineering driven portions of the game particularly when it comes to preparing for the arrival of new ships or engineering newly acquired SEO capable FSDs. We don't know yet when the engineering revamp is due to arrive and so it's likely not worth waiting for its arrival before you start looking at the gathering of engineering materials for any plans toward engineering that you might be formulating. It's no secret that engineering in Elite Dangerous is very deep and whilst that is for many a strength of the current system it can also be its greatest weakness. However with just a handful of useful guides and some third party tools and websites it can also quickly become a far far easier road to travel. A number of newer YouTubers have surfaced of late and have started filling the void of practical new Elite Dangerous guides when it comes to engineering and material gathering and so along with a few tools I personally use here's a quick guide of guides to ship engineering and material gathering that I've personally been using of late. 
Firstly then, let's get some basics out of the way. If you're completely new to engineering and have absolutely no idea where to start and who can blame you quite honestly then I'd highly recommend the video Everything You Need To Know For Engineering In Elite Dangerous as it defines in simple terms what engineering is, who the engineers are and how to go about accessing engineering. The guide recommends a third party tool called ED Engineer to help you and for many years that tool was indeed the go to engineering tool. However for me personally it has recently been surpassed by the Odyssey Material Helper tool. Your mileage may vary of course but I've personally found Odyssey Material Helper much easier to use. Plus it comes with the added bonus of handling both Odyssey on foot engineering and ship engineering but use whatever works for you best. Next you're going to want to gather materials. Ship materials come in 3 flavours manufactured, encoded and raw. Each flavour has different requirements and methodology associated for their gathering but once you understand what you need to get, where precisely to get it and how best to get it it becomes significantly easier. So I'd highly recommend bookmarking the following guides and subscribing to the channels that produce them so that you can catch any future guides. For raw materials Stewie Plays PC has created what is, for me, the definitive guide to gathering grade 4 materials which themselves are not only useful for engineering but can also be used to trade down to the lower tier materials at one of the games many material traders. Using Stewie's guide I was quickly able to max out a given grade 4 raw material in around 10 minutes once I arrived at the POI. The method Stewie ably demonstrates is all entirely ship based and uses remote release flak launchers and collector limpets to gather surface based materials and is incredibly efficient as well as being fun. On top of that Stewie's guide not only supplies the planets that the mats can be found at but, better still, gives the precise coordinates for the best material gathering experience. Whilst we're talking about Stewie Plays PC, Stewie also has my current go to guide for farming ship based encoded materials in the game. The guide focuses on just gathering the top tier materials and again trading down to any lower tier ones that you may need. Stewie's guide again provides the needed locations and simple ship builds to get the job done. Next, manufactured materials. YouTuber The Way has a guide to collecting manufactured materials via high grade emission sources and in particular pharmaceutical isolators. It was via that guide that I was introduced to the website edgalaxy.net which contains a number of very useful tools. Most notably in this context is a high grade emissions finder that also collates commanders findings via data sharing tools like EDMC and and displays that for others to use. Once again gathering higher tier materials here is the key and then trading down to what else you might need and, as we've mentioned on this channel before, using an SCO capable FSD is an absolute must when farming high grade emissions these days. Don't leave home without one. Finally, possibly the funniest guide I've seen in a while, check out the channel Mile13 and their guide called The Worst Possible Way To Get A Ton Of Engineering Materials Really Quick In Elite Dangerous. This guide focuses on farming the debris from largely unarmed cruise ships at a tourism hotspot in an anarchy system via the medium of extreme violence. As well as Odyssey Material Helper which I mentioned at the top of this piece I'd also personally highly recommend ED Copilot which can do all sorts of amazing things for you automagically including plotting a course to the nearest material trader of your choice and providing distance and heading guidance to planetary surface coordinates. As always the case all these guides and all the tools I've mentioned you'll find linked in the description below this video. Will you be attending the Elite Community Meet this year? Have you engineered yourself a Python Mark II yet and have you checked out any of the new guides that we featured? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then 07 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.